Hi everyone and welcome to the Penguin Prof channel. We are coming to you on location in Florence, Italy. So I should say ciao a tutti and I'm here to introduce a vlog series that we're going to be looking at all about the fusion of art and science. And I'm here with Professor Kevin Petty and Dr. Petty runs a program called Anatomia Italiana and he's here today to tell us about it and get us started on this, what I am sure will be a really exciting vlog for you guys. So um, perhaps we should just start with how this all started. This whole program started uh, just because of the fact that I've always had a love of both art and science and uh, being of Italian descent and being a dual Italian U.S. citizen, I had a love for Italian culture on top of that and as an anatomy professor, I always read about the history of this discipline and realized that a lot of it started here in this country. Anatomy in the medical curriculum began in Italy. The ancient dissection theaters are still here. Beautiful wax sculptures to teach anatomy are here in this country. So in 2009, I put together a, my own program to come and visit this with my family and my anatomy professor colleagues got excited about what I was doing and asked if they could come along. And I invited them, and since 2012, I've come every summer, and now I'm also teaching an undergraduate version of this through San Diego State University, where we're incorporating this connection between art and anatomy along the Italian peninsula. So this is a truly amazing sounding program, and I feel like it's extremely unique. I've never seen anything like it. So can you give us an idea of the itinerary, the things that we're going to see? The kinds of things we do are often very similar to what anybody would do when they come and visit Italy, to visit the great museums of the world, the Vatican Museums, the Uffizi, the uh, Borghese in Rome. But we also tie that into the history of anatomy by looking at the great anatomy venues and realizing that the Renaissance masters conducted dissection to help them with their fresco and with their sculpture. And on top of that, these early anatomy textbooks that began along the Italian peninsula, the physicians that made those books had to commission artists for that. And you see these wonderful anatomic illustrations in these early textbooks. So we, we put this fusion together of anatomy as a science, but also its collaboration with art and how the Renaissance artists also collaborated with the anatomists. And we see that this story can be told by visiting many of these uh, venues here in Italy. That sounds absolutely incredible. Can you tell me a little bit more about specific things that we're going to see? especially the ones that people might not be most familiar with. Right. When we come to the city of Florence, where we're at right now, we will visit the uh, La Specola Museum that's affiliated with the University of Florence that has these outstanding anatomical waxes. There's about 500 specimens in over 10 rooms oh of gosh. just amazing anatomical accuracy, but they are works of art in their own right. And that's a wonderful vehicle to discuss this connection between art and anatomy along the Italian peninsula. But just a handful of blocks away, we will also walk over to the Basilica Santa Spiritu to then wind up seeing the uh, crucifix that Michelangelo carved as a young boy, late teens maybe, to thank a prior who provided for him corpses for dissection to help him as he trained as an artist, as a painter, and as a sculptor. So you see art and anatomy coming together that way. University of Bologna has an ancient dissection theater as well as their own collection of anatomical waxes. And the University of Padua has the oldest existing freestanding permanent dissection theater in the world goes back to 1594 and at the university we'll also get to see Galileo's lecture podium and that's always a, a fun thing to look at. You know I have to say as a professor of anatomy and physiology myself I can see I mean obviously that's why I'm here I am so excited about doing all of this but you know the more I think about it and the more we talk I realize that the other audience that this might really attract would be artists um, especially people who are interested in, you know, human figures and other things. I mean, um, are you also trying to attract people who are artists? And, and it's happened uh, without even looking to do it. So um, we've had some art professors and art students from the University of Wisconsin join me in the undergraduate version of this program last January, and the same will be happening uh, later this summer as well. So we have art students and art professors that stay behind and sketch out the anatomical waxes. So this is truly an interdisciplinary experience where we see art and science coming together. I envision seeing artists and professors of anatomy 
and people who maybe are neither, who just have a love for Italy and a love for science and a love for art, and you wind up putting it all together. This interdisciplinary experience in Italy, is, it's actually very easy to do and it's very well embraced by people, but there's not many programs that are really doing that. I think it's just a truly unique itinerary and personally I am, I am beyond excited. Um, but what about the people, and I have to say it's sad that most people won't be able to do something like this. Do you have any plans? You've done a tremendous amount of work over the years sort of putting together this whole story what about, for example, faculty at institutions who might want to have access to this? Are you, are you working on anything like that? Yes, I am right now. I'm collaborating with an online product that you will be able to look at various modules online that tells this entire story. And that could be used as a freestanding component in education. It could be used perhaps as an honors component of an anatomy course or of an art course. And it also could be used as the foundation for maybe a professor in another institution wants to, put, wants to put together their own program and they could use it for that. So this art science connection really isn't relegated to just biologists or just artists. All of them could use it. And I'm using it as well with this program with the undergraduates as their pre-travel readings component. So what can I say? This is going to be a phenomenal journey. I want to say thank you to Dr. Petty for doing this, for putting together this itinerary. I will do my best to vlog as much of this as I can and to share this with all of you. I also want to thank Audible, my sponsor. If you have not yet joined Audible, you can join and download a free audiobook of your choice. Uh, man, I got a lot of books with me on this trip, so I'll put the links down there, of course, as always. I will link to uh, Dr. Petty's website, all the information that we talked about, as well as all of the videos in this series of vlogs. So thanks for watching the Penguin Prof channel, and I um, hope you're ready. We're going to have a great time.